What's up, guys, and welcome into the PHNX Sun Devils Week 4 Pac-12 Power Rankings. I'm Anthony Totri, joined by them boys, Sean DePoss, <laughs> Shane Diefenbach. Yeah, Gentlemen, another week of college football, though, specifically in the Pac-12, a lot happened. Sean, I want to start with you. What changed in your Week 4 Power Rankings? Um, I put Utah back up at number one. Um, ASU's not a strong opponent by any means, but USC just kind of struggled a little bit against like, a good Oregon State team. But if you're going to, if I'm choosing between a str- team that struggled a little bit and a team that dominated, I'm going to go back yeah. to the team that dominated, put them up there. Washington is still at three. Uh, Oregon State's still at four. Oregon State looked really good against USC. Mm-hmm. The defense looked really good against the, the most po- potent offense in the, the conference. Um, Oregon up at one. They won. I still don't really like the Oregon team. I don't like Bo Nix, but I can't penalize them for winning. Obviously, Washington State has to fall for that same reason. Um, UCLA stays. Kale, I mean, they dominated Arizona in that second half. They yeah. have to be above Arizona, and I still think Arizona is better than Arizona State right now. Arizona State has not looked good since the NAU game. Um, and then Stanford stays at 11. And then Peach Rings, because Colorado's so <laughs> gosh darn bad that they've been relegated to the candy aisle. The net best candy of all time. I'll go on record and saying wow. that the best candy of all time, Peach Rings, are now a part of the Pac-12. They've got a big game next week against um, whoever Colorado was supposed to play. I'm honestly not sure who it was, because who cares? Colorado's just terrible. You see their mascot was playing solitaire at one point uh, during the game. More entertaining than hey, a Colorado hey, football hey, game. Hey, ASU's <laughs> mascot was also playing rock, paper, scissors. And lost. And lost. So on unlucky. national TV. That was tough. Unlucky. Shane, I want to get to you, because I know that you've got some mix-up, too, specifically with Washington and Oregon State. Yeah. Uh, well, Wazoo fell, obviously, because Oregon got the win. Oregon stays at four for me. Uh, Oregon State jumps Washington State. Even after a loss to USC, it was an impressive one. They almost played the perfect game, aside from four interceptions from uh, their quarterback. And then USC stays at top for me. I just, this, this team's a juggernaut. I yeah. think we could get an ugly game on Saturday when ASU travels to the Rose Bowl. So I'm keeping them at one. Washington moves up to two, though, man. This team is solid. As Sean says, big Penix energy. Yes, sir. Um, I, I, I'm the only reason why they're jumping Utah is because Brant Keithy, the starting tight end for Utah, is out for the season. I saw him go down on the sideline in that game, and it, it has been confirmed as a season-ending injury. Um, obviously, Kincaid looked very good, yeah, but Keithy is the heart and soul, probably the best tight end in the Pac-12. So that's why they're moving down to three for me. Um, UCLA stays at seven. Cal and Stanford both jump Arizona after Arizona's awful blown lead, and then Arizona State still at eleven. For me, just got to prove me wrong. If they compete against USC, they might move up, but we, we shall see. And then I got Scrub Daddies at 12. <laughs> Colorado not good enough to make the power rankings. Scrub Daddies not only an elite thing to clean your plates with, but also elite at marketing. They just released Halloween-themed Scrub Daddies. Not I've never it. used a Scrub Daddy in my life. Fires me, me either. They are cool. Anything with a smiley face? It gets me going. Kind of. They're yeah. probably more effective than Colorado's offense and defense as a whole. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, they can cl- they can clean things up. I mean, mm-hmm. if, you, if Colorado, efficiency clean Colorado rating, gets cleaned up, efficiency yeah. rating is probably through the roof. Colorado's yes. is the worst in the conference. So. Yep. Unlucky. Let's take a look at what I've got this week. USC obviously staying atop the Pac-12. I'm not going to penalize Utah for playing ASU. <laughs> um, they'll stay <laughs> That's not why where they are. I know, but I feel like. You could. You could make the argument, oh, you know, there were a lot of great games in the Pac-12. That wasn't necessarily one of them. Washington jumping up a couple spots to number three. This was tough for me because I didn't want to penalize Oregon State for playing a really good game against USC. But Michael Penix Jr. is simply him. He leads the FBS in passing yards, and he's just an absolute dog. Probably, though, the second best quarterback. He's a dog. (laughs) There you go. That's a better bark well, Michael than Penner we're Jr. accustomed talking about? to. Yeah, Michael he's Penner a husky, Jr. so he's probably more of a hound. Yeah, that's why I said a dog. Oh! That's, well, husky Your lip like. quivered when you did that. Yeah, I know. I felt it. That was okay. weird. That's yeah. weird. Um, I do have to drop Oregon State a little bit just because of that loss to USC. Sean and I were talking about that game as it was going on. Oregon State is a great team. Yeah. Not quite on par with USC, Utah, and Washington, though. Oregon drops a spot for me despite their win. I just, I'm not in on this team. Uh, Last week was a little bit different. I really didn't like what I saw, obviously, week one against Georgia. And I think it hurts them that Kent State was able to put up 22 points on Georgia this past weekend. Wazoo stays put. UCLA, UCLA, despite crushing Colorado, which we've all kind of decided has been demoted. They're not a part of the conference. It doesn't matter. So UCLA, we've all got them. At number seven, I know Arizona lost. This is this is where things get a little weird for me. So I need you guys to just to just stick with me here. The bottom four here, or I guess the bottom three, 
not necessarily based on what I saw last week, right? All of those teams, we can agree, not great. But looking forward, I think the rosters, I think the coaching staff, I'll jump in. I think Arizona is better than Arizona State. I know they lost to Cal. I know they blew the lead, whatever. I think this is the right spot for them in the power rankings. Arizona State. Sean Aguano, he I did can't what he believe did. you have Arizona State I, above Stalin, I, Stanford I, and Cal. I, I really Stanford don't. I get, but Cal. I mean, they just beat Arizona. How are they going to keep them at the bottom of the I conference? Just, I don't think they're good. I, that's I just don't think they're good. I know, I know they won. Just because you win the game doesn't necessarily mean you're a better team. Overall. They didn't just win. They dominated them in that second half. Look, I got them at eleven. Stanford at ten. Arizona State dropping a nine, and then Sushi just overall at number twelve. I yeah. think it is God tier. I think. It could probably jump the Pac-12 and go to the SEC in a couple seasons. Yeah, you never know. Um, tried Mizzou or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I tried my first like sushi roll with steak and lobster this past weekend. Bougie. That thing was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal. Incredible. That's partially why it's at number twelve in the Pac-12. Let us know in the comments what you think of our Week Four Pac-12 Power Rankings. If you enjoyed it, give us a follow at PHNX underscore Sun Devils for all the latest. ASU News. We'll see you guys next week.